All right, let's talk about the effect of dielectric on capacitor. So dielectric is an insulator. Uh, in fact, dielectric, uh, it has uh, many polar molecules. Uh, as you can see here, uh, polar molecules means uh, there is uh, one positive end and one negative end. Okay, but their polar molecules in the dielectric, they are randomly orientated. Uh, that means... Um, uh, like this molecule, the positive at the right hand side, left uh, negative at the left hand side, uh, and then this molecule is a uh, positive at the left hand side, negative at the right hand side. So they are uh, not orientated, uh, not uh, they are not in the same direction. Yeah, the positive not in the same direction, the negative also not in the same direction. So they are randomly orientated. Yeah, initially, uh, when it is without without uh, external electric field. Yeah? When this uh, uh, dielectric, uh, it is not in the electric field, yeah? there's no external electric field, uh, all the polar molecules, they are randomly orientated. Okay? Now, what if you put the dielectric into an external electric field, uh, then the dielectric will start to be polarized by the original electric Field. That means all the polar molecules will realign themselves. Uh, how they realign? They become like this one. Uh, that means because we know that uh, the parallel plate it has a positive plate and negative plate. So uh, the polar molecules, uh, the negative end, the negative end of each polar molecules will be attracted to the positive plate. Uh, it will, they will align, align in such a way that all the negative side of the polar molecules will be attracted to the positive plate. You see, all the negative sign at the right hand side. You see, all the polar molecules. Whereas all the positive end, all the positive end will be attracted to the negative plate. Uh, so it form. Uh, they, this is how they realign. Okay, we can say that under this condition, the dielectric is being polarized uh, by original electric field. Okay. Uh, what happens uh, after they realign? What, ha what happens after they realign? So if you can see in the middle here, the white area, yeah, in the white area here, the positive and negative charges in the middle cancel each other. Uh, cancel each other. That means what it means is uh, like this. Yeah, let me draw draw for you. Yeah, uh, like uh, for example, like this part. This part. Um, yeah, here the positive and negative, uh, they positive and negative, they cancel each other. Uh, here also another positive and negative. Sorry, again, let me draw for you. Uh, here, positive and negative cancel each other. And then here another positive and negative also cancel each other, become neutral. When they cancel each other, they become neutral, like no charge at all. Uh, here, positive and negative also, uh, they cancel each other. Ah, so all the middle positive and negative uh, in the middle they cancel each other, or we can say they become neutral. Uh, we can say they when they after they cancel each other they become neutral. Okay, they become neutral. So uh, just left with the uh, surface charge, there is a net accumulation of uh, positive and negative surface charge on dielectric. That means uh, on the surface. Uh, there is a surface charge that is not being cancelled, uh, not being cancelled because there is no like this negative end. There's no positive end to cancel them. Likewise, the positive end here, there's no negative end to cancel them. Uh, so that's why uh, they form a positive surface charge on this end and also a negative surface charge on this end. Uh, negative surface charge on uh, the, the, the end nearer to the positive plate and then it forms a positive surface charge on the end near to the negative plate because we know that a negative end tends to attract to the positive plate the positive end attracted to the negative plate so it builds up a positive surface charge at the at, at this side and then a negative surface charge at this side all right so uh, that's why i call it surface charge so that's why the dielectric now induces its own electric field opposite direction 
uh, or, uh, opposite direction or cancel partially to the electric field by the capacitor. Uh, so uh, we know that originally, originally this capacitor already has its own electric field, which is from positive plate to the negative plate as uh, denoted by the orange line. You see the orange line here? Uh, you see the orange line here? Uh, okay, let me let, show you uh, clearer, clearer. So a, as you can see here, uh, this uh, capacitor already has their own electric field, uh, which is from positive plate to the negative plate, denoted by the orange line. Okay, orange line. However, because of the surface charge, because of the uh, positive and negative surface charge on dielectric, okay, uh, which is this one here, the positive surface charge and the negative surface charge on the dielectric. So this, uh, this uh, dielectric, uh, it produces its own electric field. We call it induced electric field. Uh, yeah? uh, in the full, we say it is the, called the induced electric field. Uh, yeah, I and D means induce, induce electric field. Uh, the 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 uh dielectric itself it has a positive like a positive end and a negative end. So there is an induced electric field from the positive end to the negative end. Ah, uh, and then this induced electric field is opposite direction, opposite direction to the original electric field by the capacitor. Yeah, why? Why is it opposite direction? Because if you look at here, um, the, for the capacitor, the positive plate is at the right hand side, but for the dielectric, the positive positive end is at the left hand side. Ah, you see, the for the parallel plate, uh, the capacitor, the positive plate at the right hand side, but for the dielectric, the positive end is at the left hand side. So it's like a uh, positive to negative. And this one is like uh, from positive to negative at the opposite side. Uh, that's why the electric field is uh, opposite direction. Okay, let me draw for you again. Uh, the for the original electric field is from positive. Okay, use a red one. Positive to negative. Uh, this is the original. This is the original electric field. But for the dielectric, uh, it's also from positive to negative. But because the positive and negative invert, yeah, invert, uh, the, the induced electric field is in opposite direction. You see that? Uh, original electric field and induced electric field, opposite direction. Uh, opposite direction. But if you look at here, uh, the electric field of the capacitor, the capacitor electric field, of course, is bigger. Yeah? It's higher than the induced electric field. Induced electric field is a very small electric field only. Yeah, if you look at here, the plate positive plate has more positive charge, but for the dielectric, the positive charge only have four. You see, uh, only have like uh, very few, very few positive charge. But for the capacitor alone, uh, it has a lot of positive charge. Yeah, so that means the electric field of the capacitor original, the original electric field by the capacitor is much stronger than the induced electric field of the of the dielectric. Uh, so we can say that uh, the dielectric induces ele its own electric field, but this electric field, which is a only very small electric field, cancel partially only. Uh, it cancel only partially to the electric field by capacitor because the electric field by capacitor is much stronger. The induced electric field is uh, weaker. So this induced electric field only cancel partially the electric field by capacitor. Okay. Uh, so we can say that uh, uh, look at here, look at this uh, what is happening yeah in the end. So uh, we can say that uh, for electric field um, the effect of dielectric on capacitor is uh, this is the important important notes yeah at first when you insert uh, bef uh, insert the dielectric uh, insert dielectric uh, the charge is considered to be constant, not flowing anywhere yet yeah. The charge on the capacitor considered to be constant and not flowing anywhere yet. Uh, but uh, the net, the resultant electric field, the resultant electric field 
uh, inside the capacitor uh, where okay you have already the dielectric in between dielectric between the resultant electric field uh, com uh, between the combination of capacitor and dielectric yeah, together the resultant electric field is lower uh, is lower uh, why I say like why why uh, the resultant electric field is lower because of induced electric field uh, which is in opposite direction to the original electric field uh, yeah that's the original electric field is cancelled yeah? minus minus cancelled by induced electric field which is in opposite direction uh, that's why the resultant electric field uh, because of capacitor and dielectric uh, combined the resultant electric field is much lower okay much lower so uh, what happened to the voltage across the capacitor uh, when the the electric field is has gone down? You see that when the electric field has gone down, ah, uh, when electric field has gone down, the voltage also gone down. Okay, voltage also voltage across capacitor also uh, decreases, decreases, yeah, decreases. Distance considered constant. So uh, when voltage decrease. According to this formula, C equal to Q over V, which uh, comes from this uh, formula, uh, Q equal to CV. Yeah, just the V, V goes below Q, uh, so C equal to Q over V. So when V decreases, uh, when V decreases, uh, Q is constant, Q considered to be constant. You must say that Q is constant. Uh, the C increases. The C increases. So the capacitance of capacitor. Uh, increases that means uh, the that's why the effect of dielectric on capacitor is uh, it, it increase the capacitance of the capacitor that means a capacitor with dielectric a capacitor with dielectric has higher capacitance has higher capacitance and able to store more charge able to store more charge yeah has higher storage for charge yeah, because it has a higher capacitance. Okay, uh, and because it reduces the electric field, uh, it reduces the voltage of the capacitor, so that uh, uh, when the voltage of capacitor is being reduced, um, then it the more charge have to come in. Yeah, more charge have to come in to increase back the uh cap the to increase back the voltage of capacitor, so that the voltage become uh, finally equal to the emf yeah uh, which is which will be explained in the following videos yeah uh, i will explain more about this uh, effect of dielectric on the next videos so i hope you, you watch that videos yeah so uh, in a nutshell uh, the elect the effect of dielectric on capacitor is it increased the capacitance of the capacitor or increase the ability of the capacitor to store charge Okay, so uh, uh, anyway, uh, here got a few statements here. Um, just now I use mathematics. I use mathematics to explain uh, why the uh, resultant electric field uh, reduces because of the presence of the dielectric. Yeah, because of the induced uh, electric field, which is opposite direction to the original electric field, and they cancel partially, and that's why the resultant electric field reduces. Okay, this is by mathematic, yeah, by mathematic. Uh, but now, uh, how to understand more about this uh, reduction of resultant electric field? This statement, okay, this statement. Uh, if you look at here, this diagram, this diagram, uh, not all electric field uh, line pass through the dielectric. Uh, this, uh, this one I refer to the original, original uh, E naught. Uh, yeah this one this one this one i refer to the this original electric field line i refer to the original electric field uh, what i mean is uh this one e not uh you see not all electric field line from the capacitor from the capacitor not the induced electric field uh, and what i'm talking about here is the original electric field from the capacitor which is from the positive plate to the negative plate to the left hand side yeah, to the left direction to the left you see the electric field line not all electric field line from the capacitor can pass through the dielectric uh, why 
because the dielectric already have a it already built up a surface charge you already have a positive surface charge here and a negative surface charge here but of course uh positive the the capacitor plates has more positive charge uh, compared to the surface charge of dielectric like you see the dielectric here you only have a four uh, negative charge but here the positive plate you have how many positive charges so many positive charge okay uh, let's take one charge uh, give out one electric field let's take yeah uh, let's assume so you see um this the first line can pass through uh, this the first line can pass through the dielectric because because there is no surface charge uh, in fact we can say the density the charge density uh, the charge density you know the charge density the charge density of the plate is much higher than the charge density on uh, of surface charge on dielectric uh, so the the den the charge density of the uh, plates the capacitor plates is much higher than the charge density on the of the surface charge on capacitor okay uh, this one has so many charge on capacitor but here there are so few uh, surface charge on dielectric so anyway let's look at the first line the first line uh, there's no surface charge uh, there's no surface charge so the first line can pass through the dielectric yeah the the, the electric field line from the capacitor can pass through the dielectric safely because there's no surface charge because the charge density on the dielectric is lower yeah so that's why the first line can pass through but look at the second line second the second line um the post the electric field line comes from the uh, positive plate but it ends at the surface charge the negative sign the negative surface charge here so this line the, doesn't pass through the dielectric uh, doesn't pass through a dielectric so in the dielectric that we can say here at here region there's no electric field no electric field so we can see it's big the electric field is being reduced already being reduced and after that uh here here got positive plate here got positive surface charge uh, give out electric field it give out electric field and then ends at the negative plate of capacitor uh, so the second line cannot pass through the dielectric so that we assume here has no electric field uh, and then uh, the third line uh, uh, the electric field can pass through easily because there's no surface charge as i said the charge density the charge density of surface charge on capacitor is lower that's why uh, some line some line can pass through uh, some line just end at the surface charge uh, just end at the surface charge so you see that um, electric field strength, electric field strength, we can say the closer um, to talk about the strength of electric field, to talk about the strength of electric field, we always take the, the separation between the line. Uh, we always talk about the separation of the line. Uh, when the line is closer to each other, uh, when the line is uh, closer to each other uh, it is as a stronger electric field it has a stronger electric field uh, but when the when the line they are further from each other we have a weaker electric field ah weaker electric field so you see uh, here without the dielectric you see uh, without the dielectric here you see without the dielectric the electric field is stronger because you can say uh, why you say stronger because the the line are closer to each other the line are closer to each other so the electric field is stronger uh, so capacitor without dielectric capacitor without dielectric uh, we can say uh, uh, the electric field is stronger uh, the electric field is stronger because the line are closer to each other closer to each other but uh, for this one, because some line can pass through, some line cannot pass through because they stop at the surface charge. So you can see, as a result, the resultant electric field, resultant electric field at the middle, and the middle they are further from each other, are further from each other. So the, here the line are further from each other. That's why we can say the electric field here is 
weaker uh, they are weaker less strong yeah uh, this one uh, this one closer to each other the electric field is stronger but this one the electric field line they are because some line can pass through some line cannot pass through and at the surface charge so here the lines are further from each other further from each other yeah lines are further from each other so the electric field is weaker uh, so we can say electric field inside the dielectric is less strong than the electric field in an empty capacitor yeah less strong why less strong because the lines are further from each other uh, some line because some line cannot pass through uh, ends up the electric field line are further from each other in the electric in the dielectric yeah so that's why electric field is less strong compared to the electric field in the empty capacitor like this one uh, so that's why the resultant electric field is lower uh, it's lower or mathematically we just say that we just say that uh, the original electric field uh, cancel partially by the induced electric field when being cancelled the resulting electric field become smaller uh, and then voltage becomes smaller capacitance of capacitor increases uh, so actually these are the key points uh, to explain the effect of dielectric on capacitor uh, you must uh, remember this yeah? if the question asks you what is the effect of dielectric on capacitor you must remember these four points uh, actually you give these four points you already got full marks uh, all these others are just for explanation uh, qualitatively uh, so this one uh, normally the answer for the questions uh, we we'll, we look for these four points only yeah we look for these four points so just remember these four points okay thank you let's go to the next videos bye